What's up, everybody? It's been a while. Anyway, so I, I recently painted something up. I want to talk about this. I recently painted up this driver in here in the Beetle. Hopefully you can see it. There's no glare. But uh, I recently painted up this driver here. And I really like the way it looks. And you know, I wanted to talk about this. A driver really adds something else to your vehicles. You go from looking like this, which is an empty car, which is still nice, to this, which looks like, I don't know, there's more life to it, right? See here, empty car, empty cars. They're just empty, no drive. Oh, look at the, they got drivers in here. That's just so cool, look, no drivers, driver. No driver, drivers. No drivers, driver. It just looks super cool with a driver. So anyways, that's the most recent one I've just done. And I think it looks great in there. I used a single cock, a single driver in there because the dual cockpit was too wide. And the only way to make the dual cockpit fit was to cut down the center. And I didn't want to cut down the center and squeeze them in together. Uh, so I just went with one driver here. Anyways, we need to make cockpits for that one and that one. And today I'm gonna to go ahead and start on that one. So I'm gonna take some video and show you how I do it. I'm not great and I'm not a good painter or anything like that, but I figured somebody wants to see how I do it. And uh, I, I sure as heck do. I'm gonna see, watch this when I'm older. All right, let's get to it. All right, so here we are at the work desk and we've got two rally cockpits, one for the Subaru and one for the Mitsubishi. I've already got one here that I've started peeling away the liquid mask on. Liquid mask, you say? Let me show you. This is only the second time I've ever used a liquid mask, but I love it. So I usually paint this all black if I don't leave it white or paint it the color of the car uh, to create depth. Now, what I've learned, though, before I use a liquid mask was it's really difficult to cover, uh, to, to paint the drivers after you've already covered them in black because the black shows up so well. So with the liquid mask, before you paint it black or whichever color you're going to paint the inside, uh, you use that on the driver and the co-pilot. Also, be liberal, because if I were to do this over again, actually, you know what? Yo, you're about to see. You're about to see what happened here. You're about to witness here the downfall of not applying it generously. The liquid mask was just too thin, and it was very difficult to peel off in a full section. Now, I did say this is the second time I've, been, I've used the liquid mask. The first time I used it, I had much better success. But that's all right. You live and you learn. All right, I got pretty much all of it off that I can see, except for some of the parts that seem to have painted themselves on. I, uh, I guess I wasn't as generous as I thought. Remember, if you're doing this, and if you do this in the future, Rex, put more on. <laughs> anyway, let's get the paints out. Uh, Sharpies. You know what? Sharpies are really good, actually, to outline. I'll show you how I use these after. Like I said earlier in the video, I'm not a good painter. So I do it very sloppily and then clean it up, finish it after. Kind of like uh, a lot of construction in houses. Everything's done ridiculously sloppy and then the painter fixes everything, makes everything look better. You'll see what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and use flat red for this one. And uh, probably pick a bigger paintbrush so I can cover more ground, more space. You wanna go ahead and color most of the rough area that you're going to have, the color you're using. It doesn't have to be super clean or super perfect uh, it, with my method anyway, because I'm not very good at being perfect and staying in the lines and whatnot. So I cover most of it and you'll want to do one, two, maybe even three coats, depending on how, how much it is or how, how well your color shines. Just be sure not to apply too much because then it runs everywhere and starts pooling up in places. So keep it thin, keep it light. Let it dry fast, and then you can go over again. Now, the thinner you, you put it, the faster it'll dry. All right, so I've pretty much done the bulk of what I want red. I'm just going to go ahead and let this dry, and I'll be back. We're back, and it is dried. I have gone ahead and took the liberty of doing the second and the third coat on this because it needed it. doesn't look too bad, even with the black leftover paint imperfections. 
it looks more like natural blemishes. Anyhow, I'm going to show you what I mean by you don't have to be neat and you can be sloppy because I'm quite sloppy and you can still make it look really nice. Because to give you an example here, the next step, we're going to go ahead and switch over to a semi-gloss black to match my paint. You can go ahead and switch over to whatever paint you're using. But the beautiful thing about doing this afterwards is you can cover up everything that you did sloppily. Literally everything. So all the edges I went over, the seat headrests, all of that's gonna get covered up in black and it'll look like I painted it perfectly. Too much paint. We'll drop over here on the side. We'll come back to that later. Now, now that I've covered up all of my sloppy lines, I'm going to start on some of the other black parts, like the seatbelts, for example, for me. Don't worry about being perfect here either. I'll show you how I fix my imperfections here also. All right, so I'm pretty much done for now for today. I found some stickers, finished doing some extra painting. I painted up the white paper that was there, added some black paint where I needed it. And uh, as you can tell, it's starting to look pretty good, but it needs a full day to dry before I move on to the next stage. And the uh, next stage is using these Sharpie marker or Sharpie uh, fine point pens to fit and finish everything like a proper finisher. But I've got to wait a whole day to dry. Wait, no. We're not ready to go yet. We have to do these faces first because they need a day to dry. And these faces also have liquid mask involved, which is where I'm gonna show you me applying the liquid mask. So let's go ahead and get this done quickly. All right. Okay. So, when you're cutting these, you want to make sure you leave some extra nubblings there so that you can exacto knife that off properly. Because most of the time when you're snipping really close, it takes off too much plastic or it cracks it or something bad happens. Also, I leave the steering wheel and the gear shifter on there because I, got, I paint it right on the tree. But I also snip off the side 
dub that holds the uh, shifter. So I can paint over that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Okay, at this point, some people, a lot of people actually, uh, put it together and start filling everything with putty and sanding things down. <sighs> That's beautiful and all, and uh, highly respectable, but meh. It's gonna go inside my RC car and I'm gonna bash it. That's, that's my purpose anyway. So here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and put these together. We're gonna screw them together in the back. And the reason I do this is because I find it a lot easier to paint when I put them on these things that I made. You take a skewer and you tape a screw to the end and you screw the head on there and you, you hold that to paint. It's nice and easy. I gotta find screws for this. Yeah, yeah, then we did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in base. Slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses. I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffee. Money clip by tossed it. I heard this big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -huh. Coming in. Yeah. This is what I use for skin. I just want to win. Don't need much. At all. I don't even use primer. Just put it on. I normally put a pretty thick coat on their skin, but you know what? I'm going to try having both drivers a different tone this time. Maybe keep this one real light so he has some white coming through. And I'll put a thick layer on this one. Take your time. Be patient. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell him most of y'all is flawless. Broken whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you one. All right, and now we're going to apply the fine black line around the helmet. Cause he is enormous, what's an ass, since she is a gorgeous Live my life, last name of Morgan Freeman Trying to touch a forest, do not know we're knocking on the door is came in, I came in, I came in Did it like the Porsche is coming in Yeah, flex, I just wanna win Yeah, LA BB, who we running with Yeah, 2233, I'm on 10 again Okay, alright Coming in Yeah, flex, I just wanna win Yeah, LA BB, who we running with yeah. Okay, and that's it. I really am done for now. We're going to let those dry. And then we've got a liquid mask those face before I paint the helmets. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right, you don't want to see this. We'll see you when everything dries.